I'm James Bruce, you're watching MakeUseOf.com and today we are taking a look at the Note Plus from XP Pen. And yes, it is a notepad and pen. But hold up, no, this is not an early April Fool's. We are not literally reviewing a paper notepad and pen. Well, I mean, we are, but this is a magical notepad because anything you write on here will be recorded to this slimline folder and then can be synced with your tablet or mobile device. Now, don't worry, it doesn't lock you into a supply contract with these special notepads from XP Pen. It can, in fact, be used with any standard sized A5 notepad. And although you will need to use this pen, it seems that the ballpoint uh, cartridges that it takes are pretty standard and can be bought online from anywhere, not just from XP Pen. So I assume it needs to be this particular pen because of the metal conductivity, which this special folder is then able to detect when you touch the paper. And that's the long and short of it, really. To operate it, I mean, you open up your notepad and you start writing, and that's pretty much it. It automatically powers on when you open up the folder and it'll begin recording whatever you write. To start a new page, there's a small button on the bottom of the device, and that's the only button that you'll find. Just press that down for a second or two, and then it'll flash a lot to tell you that you're on a new page, and then you can start writing again. Also at the bottom here, you'll find a uh, magnetic connection for the proprietary charging cable that it comes with. Just charge over USB, but you will need that special cable, so keep that safe. Now the battery in here uh, pretty much lasts for ages, about 10 hours of continuous use, or it should last for about 50 days when closed in standby mode. There's also enough internal memory inside of here for around 50 pages worth of text. So how does it work in practice? Well, sadly, the app has been a little bit unreliable for me. In particular, the Bluetooth connection isn't being remembered. That's on an iPhone 10. So every time I open up the app, I have to go through the whole reconnection, repairing process again. Uh, that seems like a software bug which should be able to fix. I have been in touch with them about it, although because of the situation in China at the moment, they haven't got back to me yet. Hopefully that'll be dealt with shortly. As it stands, the repairing process is a bit laborious, to be honest. It's a couple of taps inside of the app, then you have to press the button on here, then you have to press again in the app and then swipe up, and then finally you're ready to start syncing. Even the fact that you have to sync this at all seems a little bit off to me. It really should be just that you open up the app and then it automatically connects, automatically downloads any notes that you have and you're done. So once you've synced your notes, you can in fact go back and edit them. However, you will need the app open in order to do this. Just find the note that's been synced inside of the app, open it up and click edit, and then it'll open up a live connection to your notepad where you can then start writing and that'll be reflected inside of the app. Of course, since there's only a single button on the device itself to open up a new page, there's no way that you can do that offline without the app connected at the same time. In order to do that, you would need a, a little LCD display on here or something uh, and a way to tell it to go back a few pages so you can keep writing on that one. The app also offers handwriting recognition. However, since I've been using a keyboard since about the age of three, my handwriting is understandably atrocious and can't really be read by humans, let alone computers. Now, I did try to create an account in order to test their cloud saving functionality. However, unfortunately, the Google login feature uh, wasn't working. It said app unauthorized and the Facebook login button didn't do anything either and there was no option to just create an email account. So I couldn't really test that. So in my early testing of the device, it seems that pressing the new button didn't actually work. I'm pretty sure I pressed it, but in the end when I synced those notes, I actually ended up with a big garbled mess of a page because it had merged three notepad pages into a single one. I did have some troubles syncing originally, so perhaps it was just a little bug associated with that. In terms of the physical design of the product itself, it fits an A5 notepad and it really adds very little onto that considering that there's a battery in there somewhere and the hardware needed to record your keystroke. The only thing that does annoy me about the design is that there's nowhere to store the special pen. Uh, when not in use, which considering they told me you can only use this pen, seems like a bit of a design oversight. 
I seriously can't be the only one that loses pens when they're not attached to something. So should you buy the XP Pen Note Plus? Given that the consumer balls can be bought anywhere online, they're just a standard mini star ballpoint refill and a slimline A5 notepad and need the ability to maybe easily share those sketches by syncing them, backing them up into the app, then I think this is an ideal solution for you. It's less than $100 and it's a very clever gadget when it works. It really manages to bridge the divide between a physical piece of paper and pen and that digital backup or storage. I mean, I'm pretty sure you could spend about $100 on a decent leather bound notebook cover anyway. My closest comparison is gonna have to be to that of an iPad. Now the lowest end iPad is gonna set you back uh, maybe three to four times the price of one of these. If you're the sort of person that prefers to write notes on a real piece of paper, then arguing over an iPad versus a paper notepad is a bit like telling a book lover to go buy a Kindle. However, if you're just looking for an easy way to jot down some notes, sketch out some designs, and you're not particularly bothered about whether it's on paper or not, then I would strongly suggest looking at an iPad instead, maybe even a second hand one. Obviously the iPad is gonna do so much more than just take notes, but it's also gonna be a little bit less frustrating than trying to sync this up over Bluetooth, possibly having some issues there, and then micromanaging which sheet you're on, having to keep the app open in order to go back and edit something. The beauty of the XP Pen Note Plus is, is really that it's actual literal pieces of paper. And if that's what you're looking for, then nothing else is going to compare. Ask yourself though, do you really need to digitize or scan every single thing that you jot down on a notepad? And if the answer is no, then you probably don't need this. Anyway, thanks for watching this review. I hope this has helped you decide if the XP Pen Note Plus is right for you. And if not, even just introducing you to some cool new bit of technology that you might not have known existed. Uh, this is certainly unique to me. I've not seen anything like it before. And that's why I was so excited to try it out. It's a shame the execution isn't as brilliant as I thought it would be, but it's still a very cool, clever piece of technology. And I'm sure some people will absolutely have a use for something like this. Also, thanks to XP Pen for giving us another one of these cool notepads to give away to one lucky viewer. Head on over to the link in the description, click on there, enter your details, and you'll be in with a chance of winning. For some bonus entries, when it asks you for a video bonus code, type in the word pen and paper, and you'll get some bonus entries in the competition. Good luck, and we'll see you next time with more exciting reviews and giveaways. Thanks for watching.